Welcome back. Following the uh, launch of the Agnipath initiative, uh, this would be the first time that the Prime Minister directly would be involved in an interaction uh, with uh, the first batch of Agnivirs. The Prime Minister, uh, we've learned, has congratulated the Agnivirs on being the pioneers of the path-breaking Agnipath scheme. Uh, he also highlighted that this transformative policy will be a game-changer in strengthening India's armed forces and also making them future-ready. Uh, he's also, of course, spoken about the modernization efforts being undertaken by the armed forces and also make them Atmanirbhar as far as the uh, defense policy is concerned. Let me, in fact, go across to Amit, who has more updates about this. Uh, Amit, Prime Minister, the uh, uh, first batch of Agnivirs, what did they tell them about the policy changes and the policy changes and the modernization and the nirbhartha? What did they tell us about the first batch of Agnivirs? Look, the first batch of Agnivirs, the first batch of Agnivirs, the training that they have been ready for training, they have been able to do it today, they have been able to do it today, and the most important thing is, फोर्सेज में जो नए अग्निवीर आएंगे ये जो नई पॉलिसी बदली गई है उससे पूरी जो सेना है वो उसमें मजबूती आएगी उन्होंने ये भी कहा कि जो टेक्नोलॉजी के जो से जो पूर्ण होते हैं जो सेना वो सबसे ज़्यादा मजबूत होते हैं उससे मजबूती आती है उन्होंने ये भी उम्मीद जताई कि भविष्य में जो महिलाएं हैं जो अग्निवीर महिलाएँ उनकी भी संख्या बढ़ेगी वो वो भी इसमें बढ़ चढ़ कर हिस्सा लेंगे और सबसे बड़ी बात कि ये जो जो बदलाव लाया गया है उसका असर फोर्स पर दिखेगा क्योंकि युवाओं होंगे नए लड़के होंगे जो कि अग्निवीर के तौर पर फोर्स में शामिल होंगे तो उससे एक मोरल जो एक तरह की जो चीज होती है वो बढ़ेगी फौज की ताकत बढ़ेगी और उसका असर दिखेगा तो उन्होंने साफ तौर पे क्योंकि पहला बैच था इसको लेकर काफी विवाद भी हुए थे तो ऐसे में पहले जो अग्निवीर के बैच हैं तीनों फोर्सेस के उनको संबोधित किया उनसे बातचीत की सीधा सं बात किया उन्हें एक तरह से मोटिवेट किया कि किस तरह से जो ये बड़ा बदलाव लाया गया है फोर्सेस में उससे क्या फायदे होने वाले हैं किस तरह से आने वाले वक्त पर जो हमारे फोर्स होंगे वो यंग होगा यंग होने से उनमें न सिर्फ लड़ने की ताकत होगी बल्कि एक नया एक कह सकते हैं कि नया जनरेशन फोर्स का तैयार होगा तो एक बड़ी बातें प्रधानमंत्री ने अग्निवीरों को संबोधित करते हुए कही एक और बात अमित क्योंकि काफी क्रिटिसिज्म था अग्निवीर पॉलिसी के खिलाफ राहुल गांधी बाकी ओपोजिशन पार्टीज ने भी काफी क्वेश्चंस उठाए थे इस पॉलिसी के फीजिबिलिटी के बारे में डिड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर आल्सो ट्राई टू अशोर द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ अग्निवीर उनको आश्वासन दिया किसी भी तरह का कि उनकी फ्यूचर्स जो है वो सिक्योर रहेंगे देखिए ये सब पॉलिसीज सब कुछ तय है और इसके बाद ही वो लोग इसमें आए हैं तो फ्यूचर को लेकर सब कुछ जानने के बाद ही अग्निवीर तैयार हुए हैं लेकिन सबसे बड़ी बात की प्रधानमंत्री ये बात कह रहे हैं कि उन्होंने साफ तौर पे कहा कि सबसे बड़ी बात की लैंग्वेज और स्टेट बैरियर तोड़ के जो एक डाइवर्सिटी वाली जो चीज़ें होती है वो अब सब साथ में होंगे जो अग्निवीर है वो सब साथ होंगे इसके अलावा जो यंग जो फौज में जो यंग फेसेज होने वाले हैं जो आप कह सकते हैं कि युवाओं युवाओं की संख्या जब बढ़ेगी तो उससे पूरी फोर्स में ताकत होगी तो प्रधानमंत्री ने कई तरह की बातें की उन्होंने ये भी कहा कि जो महिलाएं हैं वो उनकी संख्या बढ़े भविष्य में इसकी ये ये बहुत अच्छा होगा कि आने वाले वक्त पर महिला अग्निवीर भी इसमें इंडक्ट होंगी उसमें भी संख्या बढ़ेंगी तो एक ओवरऑल उन्होंने एक एक मोटिवेट करने की कोशिश की कि किस तरह से जो पॉलिसी बदली गई अग्निवीरों को अग्निपथ योजना के तहत अग्निवीर को जो शामिल किया गया उसके फायदे क्या होने वाले हैं भविष्य में और टेक्नोलॉजी से जो जुड़े लोग होंगे वो क्योंकि नए होंगे टेक्निकली वो ज़्यादा साउंड होंगे तो उनका फायदा भी क्योंकि कहा जाता है कि अब जो वॉर वॉरफेयर है वो पूरी तरह टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड है ऐसे में टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड जो फौज होगी वो ज्यादा ताकतवर होगी क्योंकि okay. तमाम बातें उन्होंने अग्निवीरों के सामने बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हमसे वो शेयर करने के लिए अमित लेमी ऑल्सो टेक दिस अक्रॉस टू मोहित भट्ट इज वेल मोहित दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरक्शन स्पेशली इन द लाइट ऑफ अलॉर्ड स्केप्टिसिज्म अराउंड दी अग्निवीर policy especially on the part of certain veterans is also uh, members of the opposition and the prime minister of course talking about modernization atmanirbhartha and also the importance and highlighting the importance of the agnipath initiative Well, so that the main motive of Agnipath scheme is to bring more youth, more energy to our armed forces, and that is why we see that how the uh, the, uh, uh, the people who are within the age group of 17.5 to 21 they have been given preference in the Agnipath scheme. Though for the, this year, Mohit, the I just have to interrupt you for a moment. Uh, we have uh, Mr. R. Rajgopalan also joining us on the phone line. Uh, explain to us, Mr. Rajgopalan, the importance of this interaction. Approximately 19,000 recruits in the Indian Army alone, as far as the Agnipath initiative is concerned, the total. Target for recruitment for this particular financial year is 46,000. So an extremely important interaction in that context. Prime Minister Narendra Modi meeting Agnivir participants is a significant, you know, important. I would like to describe because the opposition parties, especially Congress, 
which is opposed to this Agni Veer, and they created a ruckus in Nitish Kumar also created a ruckus in Bihar during the introduction of Agni Veer. Is the best scheme approved by the former, you know, chiefs of the Indian Army, <coughs> Indian Navy, Indian Air Force like that. But at the same time, my understanding is it is a political issue. Prime Minister who is also interested in Pariksha Me Chacha, which is happening on 27th of this month. Prior to that, he is meeting Agni Veer. Prior to that, you know, his interaction with this type of youngsters show that Prime Minister is preparing for a bomb slot on the opposition, politically. Mm. Second thing, it will encourage the youngsters for 2024-2023, those who are going to be recruited, they will get a confidence. Okay. And Prime Minister interaction with them is a significant move. Right. It exhibits that government's commitment to a Shagni Veer. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Rajgopalan. Let me take this across to Major General A.K. Sevach as well. Thank you, sir, for speaking to Times Now. Uh, your response to this uh, first direct interaction that the Prime Minister has had with the first batch of Agnivis recruited under the newly launched Agnipath initiative, which was launched in June last year, sir. No doubt. This is uh, one of the, the finest initiatives taken by the Prime Minister. Once, the, you know, he himself personally speaking to all the Agnivis uh, in various regimental center, this will give them a lot of encouragement. And you know that um, uh, basically the rumors which were spread around the whole country, that ceased to exist now because once the Prime Minister himself is talking to all of them and encouraging them, motivating them. And it also sent a very good message to our other countrymen and also those Agni Veeds which are likely to join in future. So overall, right. a very good move, very encouraging. But suddenly, two, three issues are still left. I am sure the government is taking care okay. of them. Okay. One one of them is basically uh, those Agni Veers which will be there for four years. Mm -hmm. If they become a casualty, they must be given all uh, uh, you know facility the way it is given to a regular soldier. Mm -hmm. That must be taken care by the government. I am sure other point which was there, whether they will be absorbed laterally by, by in the paramilitary or other private or public sector, mm. that care has been taken, yes. that possibly increasing the strength from 25% to 50%, government is open and it is a dynamic process, they may take it. But okay. And the third issue, the regimental issue, especially the regiments which have pure, you know, caste-wise, mm. uh, caste uh, and also class and uh, John White, they must remain there because they have ethos like Sikh Regiment, okay. Rajput Regiment, Bihar Regiment. I'm sure government is taking care. My I only see. concern is this, yes. that the ugly wheel which are there for four years, they will be deployed on line of actual control and line of control. Should something happen to them, they, you know... Pertinent points, uh, pertinent points then, General Sivach, I'm sure there'll be introspection along these lines uh, within the highest echelons of the army as well as the government. But thank you so much for your response. We have to slip